Let me show you one of the easiest ways for adding a ChatGPT powered chatbot to your website. This is going to be powered by the new ChatGPT 4.0 model. And there's a couple of ways to use it. So on my website, I have it like this as a knowledge base. So this works as a tutor. And this is trained on five, 600 different documents that we have that are just transcripts from different videos and courses. And people could jump in and ask a question. So we're finalizing this one. And on this other website, I have it as a support bot. So people could just press right here. It's going to pop up. And again, you could train this with your own knowledge base, with your own return policy, whatever the case is. On the back end of this, you could give a ton of different documentation and you could give it a very specific set of prompts to act a certain way. Let me show you how it works. Okay, the platform we're gonna use is called Chatbase. I'll put a link in the description. Basically, custom GPTs, custom chat GPTs for your website to handle customer support, lead generation, engage with users, and so on, like a couple of the samples I showed you. And if I show you the pricing, this is the version I have right here. So I could have two different chatbots that I have and you could get 2,000 message credits per month. And your knowledge base could be massive, 11 million characters in your knowledge base. Those are different documents you could give it to train it a certain way. And then right here, this free version is what I recommend you just get started with. This way you could test it out, but as you can see, it's only for 20 messages a month. So it's really designed for helping you figure out how this all works and then you could go ahead and upgrade. The only reason why you may want to upgrade after that is if you have a lot of website traffic and you need more messages. This last one actually give you 40,000 messages and you could connect to the API key from OpenAI and that basically gives you unlimited chats because then you could just pay for it as you exceed this message count. I'll start here on a brand new account. So I'll just press new chatbot over here. So the very first step of the process is given a data sources. So this is training your chatbot with your own data. So you could upload files here and this could be docs and PDFs and text files. You could just copy and paste text. You could pull in directly from a website, Notion and a Q&A. So I typically like to do this with files and upload my own PDF files here. So in this case, I'm gonna take all these documents here I have. Okay, and here I uploaded 10 different documents and if I come over here, I'm only using 85,000 characters after uploading about 10, 11 documents and the limit again is 11 million. So that's the very first thing you wanna do and then you wanna go ahead and create a chat bot from here. Okay, then it brings you to this page in a few seconds or a few minutes if you're given a ton of different documentations. You could always add more documents too, so you don't have to always do that right up front. This model right here is GPT-40. That's what we want, that's the model it's using. Status trained, meaning I gave it some documents. Visibility is set to private right now. We do have to make it public in order to add it to our website. Temperature and things like that I'll talk about in a second. So up here, you could go to the settings tab and there's a bunch of different tabs over here. So let me show you these and then I'll go back to the settings. So activity is gonna show you anything that's happening with your chat. So a log will appear over here. And your sources, if you wanna add more documentation, just add them and then click train chatbot. You could do this at any time. Just add, train, and it's gonna know that information. There's integration and things like that where you could integrate with third-party apps. And then I'm gonna talk about embedding and sharing in a second. But let's go back to settings and let's go to model right over here because this model, we wanna make sure is GPT-40. It should be by default. This is a new update. I've been using this platform for a while now, but it was always the 3.5 GPT version I was using now, this is gonna be a whole lot more powerful than any chatbot I've built before. Now over here, the set of instructions, this is basically you're telling the chatbot to act a certain way. So you are an AI chatbot to help people with issues and requests, and then it's gonna give a little bit about the tone, friendly, efficient, and then this limitations, you could actually add limitations here, and it's gonna put it in this nice formatting for us. But we could reset it, we could type our own set of instructions. I'm making other videos about how these instructions work and I have other resources about that. But this is basically giving that chatbot a prompt. These are sometimes called system prompts. So it knows how when a user talks to it, how it should act. If you ever watch any of my how to build a custom GPT videos, those work kind of the same way. You give it a set of instructions. So sometimes I go build a custom GPT and then I figure out what those set of instructions could be after I have a back and forth conversation with custom GPTs and I bring it back here. So I'll include a video to custom GPTs to see how those work because sometimes those help you come up with a good set of instructions and I have other resources I'll mention too about these. Now temperature is an important concept when you're training chatbots. Typically you wanna be close to zero. If you go all the way up to one right here, if I take this to one, 
and you have, you know, could be anywhere in between. But if you go all the way to one, you're going to get very inconsistent results. The more towards creative that you're going to get, the more it's going to go away from your set of instructions. So I typically recommend just staying definitely under five, but usually or 0.5 and usually stay at zero to get pretty close to what this set of instructions is telling the chatbot to do and save this. The other thing you could do is under chat interface, everything that you see in the chatbot, so here's a little preview of it, is fully customizable. They even have a dark mode version of it that kind of looks like this. And you could go ahead and change the initial message that pops up. Now the next one is suggested messages. These are useful. You could put a couple of them over here so when people don't know what to do, they could just press that and it starts the conversation that way. And then you have profile picture. You could even change the little chat icon that comes like this by default. So very straightforward there. And I'll also show you the security option. So we want to make sure this is set to public because the private one, we can't add it to our website. And it also has a rate limit so people don't abuse it. So it says limit to 20 messages every 240 seconds. So this is good. You could actually reduce this if you think people are going to abuse it for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and save it there. And to add it to your website right here, embed to website, and they give you two different options that I showed you in the beginning of the video. One is this thing called iframe. iframe is like a way to embed something on a website. So it's not a chat bubble, it's sitting right on your website. So on my website, this is an iframe. This is what it ends up looking like. And then you could resize it and things like that based on some of the settings it gives you here. And then right over here, this script option is gonna be the chat bot. So I'm gonna copy it this case, I'm gonna copy the script option. Now you need to add that code to your website. So some of the website builders, this is Wix for example, if I press the plus sign right here on a page that I'm editing, they usually have an option right over here that's called embed code. So if you click this right here and it says popular embed and I just have to choose this option, embed HTML, and then I just have to type that in a box. So you could look up how to embed HTML code on whatever your website builder is, ask ChatGPT. That should give you some answers here if you don't know how to do this and then update it. And if I close this right here, this is my chat bubble. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down to the bottom of the website. And in this case, I need to make sure the box is big enough here. So it's gonna kind of pop up here. And let me go ahead and give it a preview. Okay, here it is. If someone clicks on it, and there is my chatbot. And this is using the power of GPT-40, and it's also using whatever knowledge base that you give it, whatever set of instructions you give it for answering in a specific way. So in this case, I said, what can you help me with? Well, I only give it information about ChatGPT. So it says I could help you with things related to ChatGPT, like creating marketing campaigns, because I use the transcripts for my video, so that's exactly what it knows. But if you're doing this for customer service, tell it everything about the policy of your re return policy or hours, whatever the case may be, as part of a document. So then that document could be pulled. And this works extremely well now with GPT-40. Now, if you need more help or more resources on that, I did create this course called AI Power Chatbot for your website, which is all about that chat-based website. But this has a lot more information than what I covered in this video. So we're going to go deeper into some of that integration too, using custom GPTs to pull in set of instructions to really refine how the chatbot is going to respond. And I give you some examples here. I build customer service and sales and different type of chatbots and the tutor one I show you how I made that on my website. So that's available on skillleap.ai. And with that, you also get access to our entire catalog, which is over 25 different courses. And you get access to the community where I jump in and answer any questions you may have. I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you on the next one.